to July, 65 degrees right now. Downtown Denver, mostly clear skies on top of us. Mild temperatures outside. It is a beautiful start to this Independence Day. And overall, the weather should cooperate again for fireworks tonight. We expected the weather to cooperate last night, and it did. And it should be mainly the same coming up tonight. Temperatures will be in the 70s by the time fireworks displays start. And of course, there's a lot of them. Big one after the Rapids game in Commerce City. The Denver Outlaws playing a mile high. They have a fireworks display afterwards uh, there. Downtown Denver, and then right on the other side of I-25, Elages was they close at 10 p.m. Has a big fireworks display. You can find out the or see the list of all the fireworks displays on our website, cbsdenver.com. Quick thunderstorm possible before 8 p.m. By the time we get to those fireworks uh, uh, shooting off tonight, the storm activity should be well to the east of the Denver metro area. And now our friends on the eastern plains, you may have a few storms to deal with during the evening hours. And it will be hot on the plains, 90s and even triple digits, 100 degrees today in beautiful La Junta, Colorado. In the mountains, 70s and 80s, we'll see 90s on the western slope. Satellite showing just a couple clouds around right now and future cache a green that will stay completely dry throughout the entire state through early afternoon. Then starting around 3 or 4 p.m., an isolated thunderstorm may race east across the metro area. The lowest levels of the atmosphere are so dry that if these storms manage to develop, it would be wind, not rain, uh, that we would get for the most part here in Denver. But then as the storms move east, they move into a little bit more of a moist environment. That means they're going to strengthen. More rainfall expected in this area shaded in yellow. We're concerned about severe weather, large hail, damaging wind, maybe even an isolated tornado in far northeast Colorado today. Higher concerns for severe weather for our friends in western Nebraska and southeast Wyoming. We know you watch. We appreciate it. Enhanced threat for severe weather. Torrington, Scotts Bluff, all the way up to Casper. So much the I-25 corridor north of Cheyenne. We're worried about severe weather. 92 today, 82 tomorrow. So big temperature drop tomorrow, Andrea. Better chance for thunderstorms tomorrow. Best chance for storms going forward will be on Saturday. In fact, on Saturday in the afternoon and evening, I would count on at least a thunderstorm or two.